Harmonise community. Um, just wanted to remind you about our Harmonise reunion this uh, July 31st from 2pm. Um, there's a swimming pool, so bring swimmers if you want to swim. Uh, bring a yoga mat if you want to do some yoga. It's going to be basically be about connecting, um, sharing, laughing, having some fun, um, and hopefully reconnecting with people that we might not have seen for a while. Um, we're also going to be at the Brighton Yoga Festival. I think it's Saturday the 23rd of July. Um, we're going to have a, a harmonised stand there, a harmonised graduates running the stand. So if you are going to be there and you'd like to get involved, please do send me a message. Even if it's a half an hour stand, a stint on the stand, or just to have you there uh, with your energy would be fantastic. Um, and I also wanted to let you know that we have moved the date of the Chakras and Elements course from the uh, to 11th to 14th of November. And I've also moved the, or changed, the hands-on assists due to sequencing. And I know that I've had a lot of inquiries about the sequencing. So that's, I think, in October. Um, but all the dates are on the booking system and the, and the website. And I also wanted to reflect on this year for Harmonise and, and it might uh, offer some insight and some value to, to you and your businesses too. Um, so even though on paper, fiscally, uh, Harmonise hasn't had a great year, we, we, we would have lost money by the end of this financial year. I feel as though uh, it's been so successful in other ways that that is what really matters and important. It's important about how you feel and the energy around the business is more important than the actual financial results. But we're conditioned to put so much value and emphasis on the finances. But if we can try and not worry and not have fear and let that fall away and trust that things are unfolding as they're meant to in a timely manner, going back to the yoga philosophy, I really do believe that will carry us through and that there's so many good things to come. And the feeling that we have is so important as to whether or not we align with that. So for anybody who's familiar with Law of Attraction, that's what this, this is, it's Law of Attraction, but it's looking at the bigger picture. So, you know, we've run all our, virtually all of our courses this year, albeit with small numbers smaller numbers. The feedback's been fantastic. The, uh, you know, the, the pe people have said that it's changed their lives. It's the best thing they've ever done or the course exceeded their expectations. That is, makes me feel so joyous, full, uh, blissful. And so if I'm feeling those things, then those things are going to come to me. And so I believe that that, that that will come financially again and when it's meant to. And I'm not worrying um, and then I'm more likely to align with that energy of flow, of keeping the flow so I'm not resisting it. So I'm hoping this might help others. I've been listening to a lot of Abraham Hicks recently and um, she actually says that, that abundance, don't measure abundance in financial gain, measure in how joyful you feel. And when you feel joyful, then that will come. It's not that, we, you know, of course we still need money to live, but it, but we don't we don't look for something that isn't there. Um, don't see the lack in what isn't there. Cultivate the feelings of what you'd feel like if it was there, and then you'll align with it, and it will come. So look at what what is there anything in your life that's making you feel good, and focus on that. So you cultivate the feelings of abundance, and then the abundance will show itself in all areas of your life, whether that's relationships, well-being, financial connecting um you know work-life balance all the all the, the the big things that we will often consider as being really important so i hope that's helped some of you um thank you so much for your continued support and energy and i really look forward to the next school year we've got this the yoga and pilates teacher training starting in september so if you know anybody that might be interested in embarking on their initial journey, then please do let them know. And um, we've got a whole full timetable of the CPD courses. We've got level two with Louise Yin, level one with the Yin with Louise, obviously her chakras and elements, and meditation and pranayama in January, and then wall chair and back care with myself and the sequencing. So it'd be great to see as many of you 
um, as possible. If finances are a barrier, please email me. You can spread the cost over, you know, the amount of months that's going to suit your budget. I'm always here to help with that. So do, do reach out and don't let finances be a barrier. And I want you to know that I'm thinking of you all, sending you loads of love and positive vibes. And hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.